November 1, 2022. Antigua Airways departs Lagos, Nigeria for Antigua. The flight was greeted with great fanfare and a water cannon salute as it landed at VC Bird International Airport. The arrival of the airline was welcomed by a host of dignitaries and government officials including the Minister of Tourism. But this is where things get very interesting. Three more charter flights from other airlines from West Africa have arrived on island, bringing over 600 passengers leaving them stranded to find hotel rooms and a place to stay. It is alleged the airline may be involved in human trafficking. There have been reports of passengers arriving on the flights attempting to reach the Mexico-United States border. But I've noticed something that's caught my attention. Passengers from the flight can be seen here wearing the ABLP political shirts. Is Gaston Brown and his administration involved in human trafficking? The Minister of Security and the Minister of Tourism both have been quiet on the staggering large arrivals of passengers from West Africa. As the 2023 general election approaches, this doesn't seem to be a matter of security concern for the Gaston Brown-led administration. But we all know it's only a matter of time before the U.S. Department of Homeland Security comes knocking, who recently have been closely scrutinizing countries that could potentially become transit points for terrorists or other malicious actors seeking to enter the U.S. Last year, the U.K. instituted a policy that Nigerian passport holders are required to acquire a transit visa simply to pass through their airport. Could it be because Brown approved this investment by his administration? Um, we have um, an investor in our marvelous Mike. And that's when I decided to look at the many other investments by the Gaston Brown-led administration. The West Indies Oil Company, who are the real shareholders? I'm Jake Thompson, an investigative journalist determined to uncover the truth and hold those in power accountable. From exposing corruption to delving into untold stories, stay tuned for part three.